I have no idea what's in this. I can't even remember, to be honest. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Hey guys, first day in Tokyo. I'm in um, Akira, <laughs> Akira Habara. I actually have no idea what it's called, as you can probably tell. Um, don't really know what I'm gonna do in Japan, to be honest. I'm here for about 10 days. Um, not really sure what I'm gonna do today, but I'm just gonna go to all those shops and sell those uh, Gashapon, I think they're called, which are like toys in little capsules, get a few of them, and then send them to you guys. So yeah, let's see how we go. All right, so I've been walking around now, and um, it seems like a lot of the shops really do sort of the same thing with the um, ga gasha pond things, those capsule toys. Um, but I've also noticed that people are definitely a lot more um, into their, their anime and stuff here and all their games, which is really cool. Um, you know, a lot of these shops just have like everyday people inside. All right, so according to Google, this is the one to go to. <laughs> Some exotic mushrooms, <laughs> shells. Why go to the beach when you can get one from a vending machine? Well, this one looks like it's a um, little face towel sign in the shape of fried foods. <laughs> We've got some ramen ones. All right, this is probably the cutest thing I've seen in Japan so far. It's a uh, praying animals. So I'm definitely gonna have to get one of these. <laughs> All right, number two looks like you get a model of this guy in different poses. I'm hoping for this super dab one, where he looks like he's dabbing hard. <laughs> this is actually one of the only ones I actually do recognize from Netflix. It's a terrible show, but I gotta do it anyway. <laughs> This one's actually like double the price of the others, but I'm gonna have to do it anyway because it looks hilarious. <laughs> Sorry, mum. All right, well, apparently these big chin ones are the most popular ones right now, so how can I say no? <laughs> I was actually watching The Incredibles 2 uh, on the plane yesterday and Mr. Incredible might pop out of this machine, I reckon. <laughs> well, I guess I definitely have to get a Pokemon one. I'm just hoping I get Snorlax. I got the only one, I have no idea what it is. All right, well, I ended up buying about seven of those things. Um, I can't really open them in the shop because I've only got one hand because I'm filming. Uh, but it, once I get back to the hostel, I'm gonna crack them open and see what's inside. All right, guys, we're back at the hostel and we've got seven of these uh, Gashapon thingamajigs that we're gonna open up and see what we get. All right, I'm gonna start with this Pokemon one because I know it's not a Pikachu and that really annoys me and I wanna get out of the way. <laughs> Talk about single-use plastics. I mean, we already know what it is because we saw it on the, on the machine, but it's gonna end up being that dude. That dude. Comes with uh, some ears, looks like its body and some, I don't know what this is. Look, let's just put it together, see what happens. <laughs> Two ears and uh, a body thing. So I presume that body thing's just gonna... No. I think I have to take off this middle ring on his head. There's his head. Looks like an egg. <laughs> there we go. I guess it's that. <laughs> okay, we'll actually need to open up his <laughs> head to put the body in, but I can't be bothered. You get the point. I have no idea what Pokemon this is, uh, but that's the first one. <laughs> All right, number two. I have no idea what's in this. I can't even remember, to be honest, but we're about to find out, I guess. Oh. <laughs> I asked the um, guy working there what was most popular, and he said the animals with the big chins were, and looks like we've got one of them here. It's the lion. <laughs> there it is. 
huge ass chin. <laughs> That's hilarious. He's actually ripped as well. Look at his look at his body. Anyway, so there's the second one, lined with huge ass chin. On to number three, we've got this. Uh, well, this one's see-through. Can I probably actually see what it is? But let's not run surprise. Let's just open it together and see what's inside. I'm sort of getting good at this. <laughs> Here we go. Ah, right. Okay, so this is from the um, only anime that I sort of knew because uh, it's on Netflix. It's really not a very good show, but I watch it anyway. <laughs> uh, it's from a show called Seven Deadly Sins, and this is uh, one of the main characters. His name's Barn, I believe. Check him out, little dude on a uh, keychain. He's a pretty happy fella. I actually did notice that a lot of people in Japan seem to have uh, key rings, um, especially the school students on all the bags. They've got like all these, yeah, different trinkets like this on their bag, just sort of cool, I guess. Um, so anyway, there's that. Oh, and he actually comes with a, a little stand, I guess, so you can pop it on his legs or something, maybe. No, I have no idea. I have no idea. What it doesn't seem to doesn't seem to fit in, so I don't. Like, I. On to number four. Got this nice little pink one here. Let's have a look. Oh, well, you can already see what this one is, to be honest. Look. It's, a, it's the praying animal one. Actually, this was my the first one I think I got, and uh, also the one I was most excited for. I can't even open it. <laughs> Ow! Jesus. Does they really make you work for this one? So, before you try open these things, you should probably take the tape off. That would probably help. Here it is, the praying uh, emperor pe penguin, I think they're called. If Drake was a penguin, this is what it would look like. On to number five. Let's go for this one. This is a green one. No idea what this is either. Number five. Right, I think I got two of these big chin things, kind of remember, but here's the second one. <laughs> I think that's a raccoon, but I have no idea what that is. It doesn't look like something we have in Australia, but that's got a big ass chin as well, and that's sort of cool. <laughs> All right, there's two left. Right, I can see that this one's that like guy, that dabbing guy, so I'm definitely leaving that till last. Judging from the the photo on that machine, I don't really know what to expect from this thing, so sorry mum if you're watching and if this is uh, not PG. <laughs> Alright, here we go. This one's uh, actually a big ass egg. I mean, if you look at this one compared to the um, big chin raccoon thing, you can see the size difference as well, so this one's definitely a bit heftier. This one was 500 yen. Um, which in Australian dollars, I'm actually not too sure. I think it's like four or five bucks, something like that. Um, most of the other ones were 200 to 300, which would be a three, three bucks or something like that, Australian. Um, so here's the big, the big mama. Oh, this one comes with a, a cape or a towel. I don't know what that is. Um, I can see already you're gonna put it together. Already a lot more central than the other ones. Um, yeah, moving on, let's see what else we got. Just the head. She scraped her knees or something there as well. Uh, but let's quickly put it together and see what happens. I mean, it seems to be straightforward, hopefully. And that's most of her body, and that's like a... <laughs> that's nightmare feel right now. Look at her head. Cool. And there she is. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this one, because she looks really intimidated. Look at her face. And of course, the one we've all been waiting for. The one that really matters. The dude with like a bowl haircut and glasses, naughty who he is, he's probably famous in Japan. I should probably figure that out. Let's see which one we got here. Alright, here we go. Here's the last one. The dude with a bowl haircut. Oh, I gotta put them together actually. Um, I don't really know what his pose is to be honest, but <laughs> looks pretty funny. And there he is. <laughs> I have no idea what this is. I have no idea who he is. Oh, I think these are actually supposed to hang off things, aren't they? I think they're supposed to like hang off cups or something? I don't know. There you go. I don't know. All right, and that is all seven of them for now. Um, I don't need all these, and I don't really want them either, to be honest. I want to be carrying them around. So I'll tell you what, um, I'll give them to you guys. So follow us on Facebook and tag two mates who you'd want to go to Japan with. And first seven people to do that, I'm going to send them at random one of these. And yeah, hopefully that'll give you a little taste of Japan until you get there yourself. That's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, check out our next video, whatever that might be. I have no idea because I've arrived in Japan. I have no idea what I'm really going to do. So subscribe and check out the next video. And yeah, we'll see what happens.